Thank you very much, Sai and uh, Sai Avila and uh, Tim Roden, Chuck Maniachi. Fine job, all. We only have a couple of minutes left here, gentlemen, but I did want to present this to the group. It came in from one of our attendees. You And this is the question. You mentioned direct-to-consumer lines, but what if you are uh, selling to distributors? Do you believe that you don't need to follow the Wayfair economic nexus rules for non-consumers, that is, distributors? Many times we're requested to drop ship to their customers. Many of the states have requested gross sales now for Wayfair thresholds. So I don't know who wants to pick that up first, but uh, what about that on uh, consumer lines? What about if you're selling to distributors? Hey, this is Chuck. I'll start with that, and maybe my colleagues Tim and Cy can give a more practical perspective. So technically, under the law, most states' economic nexus thresholds trigger are triggered based on gross sales, with the idea being if you're not registered in a state, you probably don't know what's taxable or exempt or whatever because you're not, you don't have any experience there. There's a couple of states, maybe only one or two, that only talk about taxable sales, but it's the rare exception rather than the rule. But you make a really good practical point. What's, what's the point for you, <laughs> and what's the point for the department for registering uh, if all you're going to do is collect exemption certificates and submit a tax return that has an X dollar gross and an X dollar exempt and zero tax liability. Tim and Sai, has that, has that occurred um, in any discussions you've had with clients and what are clients doing when they hit that issue? Uh, Tim, do you want to take that first? Yeah, I mean, I haven't worked with a client specific to this. I'm thinking it might be similar to some of the, uh, you know, so in this case, there might be a, um, again, a resale exemption for the uh, distributor in a specific jurisdiction and the, the drop ship occurring in a, in a different jurisdiction. So I'm wondering if it would be similar to, to that. And then, you know, the selling organization, would you need to register? Um, but, but yeah, I haven't seen a specific example come up with any of the client conversations I've had. Okay. I'll, I'll chime in quickly, Chuck. I think uh, from a implementation standpoint, I did come across scenarios where we just need to account for that. And it, it comes down to the setup that's in place. You know, how do you set up that um, customer uh, profile? Um, I, I think that, that that would that should be a consideration during that process. 